Good evening to you from a city that has become one of Germany's most visited in recent years. We're in Leipzig. I'm Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League semi-final first leg action coming right up for you. It's RB Leipzig facing Real Madrid. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top-quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. And here's how Leipzig will line up. Well, for a while, everybody played with a 4-4-2. And it can still be a very good system. But it does rely very much on your front two getting the better of their markers. And the wide midfield players being good in 1v1 situations. Let's hope they play it well today. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Kepa stands between the posts. Carvajal starts with Ferlon Mendy in the fullback positions. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Benjamin Henrichs. Openda. Well, good run and good ball control. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Very quick thinking there. Tony Kors. Here's Valverde. Vinicius Jr. The cutback. Rodrigo. Can they forge ahead? And a goal! The opener in the semi final. First goal of the contest. Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. Well, just look at his reaction. That could prove to be a massive goal for his team. And the ball is moving again. Will there be a quick response from Leipzig following that concession? There needs to be. Federico Valverde. And back to Bellingham. Can he finish? Oh, good save. Well, Ancelotti's not happy, is he? This game isn't over yet. And fired over by Kors. Well, still an issue here. Kors. And on to Bellingham. Valverde. And he takes it on. Oh, that's a fine save.
Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. Real determination and the challenge. A throw in here. Carvajal. Rodrigo. And back to course. Important facet of his play. Holding the ball up and waiting for support. Oh, have no... He must finish! just witnessed a moment of truly high-class goalkeeping. You're absolutely right. What a save that is. He's reacted so quickly. Well, you have to feel sorry for Ancelotti. That would certainly put them in control of this game. Short corner it is. Pulls it back. Can they convert? And saved by the keeper. Well, I think it's fair to say he's not overly pleased, is he? with the corner danger still on and a goal he's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form well here it is again it's a good delivery from the corner and then the shot could not be hit any better struck with such venom great goal So the ball rolling again, 2-0 the score. Aydara. And now here's Henrichs. Aydara. Good looking sequence. Well, nothing comes of it, it looked promising. Had a chance to whip it in here. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And that is going to do it. That is going to be all for the first half here in Leipzig. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. He's really dominating in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily, and he's taken his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. And off and running again after a dizzying first-half performance by Real. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Not an especially strong challenge. Mendy. And making the run to the inside. And Bellingham. A oh, very effective play, and they might be onto something. Rodrigo. Aurelien Chouameni. Mendy. Now with course. And Bellingham. Using his physical strength to make sure he doesn't lose the ball. Really good challenge. And playing it through. Housen. Envy. 
Spot on with that tackle. Mendy. Chouameni. Valverde. It's with Vinicius Junior. That's a good pass. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, as the replay shows us, Vinicius Junior's pass is inch perfect. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. So on they go again. And every indication that Real are going to stroll to victory here. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. <laughs> Promising pass. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Oh, he's gone for goal. And there is the goal. He's found the net. Joy unconfined. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So on with the action, and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment. Tony Kroos. And Kroos in full control as he gets forward. Mendy. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Valverde. Chouameni had no interest in losing possession. Ball retention so important. Force. Really good build up, but no end product. Mendy. Well, in terms of added time, a minimum of one minute. And there it is, the full time whistle. It's advantage, Real Madrid going into the return leg. Well, it was a great performance, wasn't it? You could see the game plan from the first minute, and they executed it so well. Surely they'll be moving into the final with another display like that. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, he was on fire today, not just with his finishing, but also his general play. That was a top-class hat-trick.